Shout it loud, hallelujah. I'd like to announce to you that the calendar, the Mountain of Fire Merry Christmas calendar for this year is available now. So you can purchase your own copy. Let's rise in our feet, please. God bless us to do so. Thank you, Jesus. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name for the Lord is good. I will praise his name, for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise yeah, his name, yeah, yeah. for the Lord is good. The Lord is the Lord is good. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for the Lord our God, who be the potent, he reigns in majesty.
very quickly. Like I've told you, this year is a year of plenty of prayers. As we start the process of these prayers, there are some here with strange heaviness on the head. The owners of evil loads shall carry their loads. As a particular person here, evil loads are st there. There are five sicknesses on your body. Five. During the process of these prayers, all those sicknesses shall go back to the center. And that person that are just drying up without any sickness. The arrows of the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood shall go back to the center. The spirit of divine acceleration we will begin to move from person to person as we pray these prayers we have a short time to pray them make sure you strike when the iron is hot power assigned to disorganize my life you are a Lord in the name of Jesus Open your mouth and pray the prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers assigned to padlock my head. You are a failure. Duh. In the name of Jesus. name we pray. The way you pray those prayers shows that you do not understand the mystery of spiritual padlocks. I was in one of our campuses for campus crusade. And I was preaching at the stage. It's a young man before me. He had a large black padlock. As I kept talking, we we'll stop the padlock. We'll click it. And he kept doing that. As I kept talking, he kept doing it. He kept doing it. 
I watch him for a while. After some time, I stop the sermon. I say, young man, you are trying to padlock my voice. You can see that you have failed. Will you now surrender your life to Jesus? When we took the altar call, he was the first person at the front. And I did not know that he was the head of the cult in the university. They understood the mystery of padlock, which we don't understand. Can you close your eyes and shout this loud and clear again? Powers are signed to padlock my head. You are a failure. Dead. In the name of Jesus. So every power using the midnight to attack me, you will never wake up. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decrease. Somebody is getting a breakthrough over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Let all the sisters here open their mouth like thunder and shout this after me. Power, sir! Working hard to pull me down. Can I hear the sisters shouting it? Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. Go! In the name of Jesus. You cannot negotiate. name we pray father I speak the words of fire and power against this power rotating this sister from power to power this power will punish her they will push her to another power to punish her you that sister hear the word of the Lord Be released now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So every satanic wind blowing away my virtues expire in the name of Jesus. satanic wind in Jesus name we pray every spiritual lag on my body assigned to detain me can you shout this loud catch fire in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. See, see what is happening. In 
Jesus name we pray yes it is true that many children died before you stayed but the power that killed the earlier ones they're working against your destiny you that person over there every hidden power cryptic demons assigned against your life they are buried now in the name of Jesus Say every stranger defiling me in the dream die by fire in the name of Jesus. name we pray every war against my testimonies scatter in the name of Jesus power against my testimonies scatter them name we pray aha two more now so powers working against my next level before I leave this place Die! in the name of Jesus name we pray this tenth prayer if you pray it and you are feeling dizzy sit down if you are feeling dizzy but it's important to pray it with all your strength pray it with all the power that you have oh God arise the real me. <laughs> Stolen by the enemy. Can I hear you shouting this loud? Aha. Uh -huh. Your voice is not loud enough. Shout it loud. In the name Recover, recover yourself, recover yourself, recover yourself, recover yourself, recover, 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 recover. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Don't say anything. Silence. The decreases. Recover yourself. Don't say anything. The real you stolen from the womb. The real you stolen while you're an adult. The real you stolen by the satanic prophet. The real you transferred by polygamous witchcraft. Recover yourself. Recover yourself. Recover. 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 Recover yourself. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Continue to lay your hands upon us and open our understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you.
this message is titled wake up and grow up wake up and grow up it's a challenge to you in this particular year wake up and grow up in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 wake up and grow up Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 wake up and grow up wherefore is yet awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ shall give thee light notice that Paul was not talking to people who were sleeping on their bed I was talking to physical people like this who are, were listening to him. They looked awake. Their eyes were open. But spiritually, they were, they were asleep. Meaning that you could be here now. But as far as the calculation of heaven is concerned, you have been sleeping for two years. You've been sleeping for one year. So then, you're a sleeping man, a sleeping woman. Asleep. And when a person is asleep, naturally, there are many things that can happen to you that you don't know. So this is why he's shouting, Awake! Thou that sleepest. So the first command for you this year, awake from that evil slumber awake open your eyes see the generation you are in understand that things have changed understand that people have changed in fact since the covid a lot of people have changed Part of the demon of the pandemic is it has changed people negatively. Some people you saw before the pandemic, now if you see them, they change people. Something has altered their lives. I'm praying for anyone here whose name has been written down by heaven that they are sleeping. Wake up in the name of Jesus. A will fall the man. What a tragedy when somebody is praying for breakthrough. And everyone say this is a breakthrough. No, you are sleeping. Wake up. Wake up and collect it. Because as far as they were concerned, <laughs> a sleeping man, a sleeping woman. In Galatians now, Galatians, chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 1. This is one of the most lamentable passages in scripture. I want you to listen carefully. Galatians 4. From verse 1. And I say that the heir as long as he is a child is the is the heir is the one that is supposed to inherit everything the bible says as long as he is a child 
a different nothing from a servant. Though he be Lord of all. His father has a huge estate. His father has plenty of vehicles. His father even has aircraft. But this person, the heir, is a six months old baby. Six months. So the Bible is saying, as far as it's a baby like that, he needs help himself. Meaning that it is not different from the servants who are looking after him. Although he's Lord of all, but because he's a child, it's not different from a slave. But it's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Even so, when we were children, we were in bondage under the elements of the world. Meaning, if you remain a child, spiritually, you become a regular, constant deliverance candidate. Because since you are a child, the elements will not leave you alone. They know that you have not wisened up enough to know what to do to yourself. No matter how wonderful your call may be, no matter how powerful the mandate God has given to you, no matter the divine position made available to you by God, no matter how talented you are, no matter all the opportunities that God is giving to you, no matter all the provisions that heavens have made available to you, no matter the spiritual background of your family, no matter how long you say you have been coming to church, no matter all the weapons that heaven has made available to you to fight, no matter all the spiritual equipment that is in your hands, no matter how much work God has programmed for you, no matter how much promotion God has planned for your life, you will not enter in <laughs> as long as you remain a child. No matter the disposition of heaven towards your life, no matter the position of God for your life, it will not make any difference as long as you remain a child. So your second major issue this year then, the mandate is that you must grow. You must grow. You have to wake up from that slumber. And then, you must grow. Growth is the sum total of life. We live to grow. And we grow to live. Growth is normally the end result of doing something right. When growth stops, stagnancy begins. If you don't arrest stagnancy, then a more terrible stage called decay now will come inside. What I'm trying to explain to all of you listening to me this morning that spiritual growth is no longer a luxury it is mandatory you must grow you have to grow is it in this age when men are getting occultic to make money you think you can remain as you are no you must grow beyond 2019 you must grow beyond 2020 you must grow beyond 2021 you must grow you must grow beyond 2022 
Growth is not optional. It is mandatory. And as a matter of nature, all living things grow. If it's living, to be grown. If it's dead, don't grow anymore. Growth doesn't start from outside. No. It starts from inside. The nature of growth is that it normally starts within. It grows out. You grow within first. It is your growth within then that will affect the growth of the jurisdiction of others under you. It will affect others that are attached to your life. But the funny thing about growth is this. Growth is a choice. It's a choice. Meaning that you are as close to God as you wish to be. If you decide to become serious now, <laughs> and you decide at every day, I'm going to pray in tongues for one hour. If you pray in tongues for one hour, <laughs> and you do it every day for one month, at the end of that month, you will have become another person. Your life will dramatically change. Growth is a choice. Just like happiness too is a choice. You can decide to be happy. You can decide to be sad if you like. Growth is a choice. It's a de you determine you want to grow. Growth answers to choice. If you don't choose growth through deliberate policy to put growth into your life, it will not happen. Right attitudes will help growth, and negative attitudes will serve as barrier to growth. Growth is change. There can be no growth without some changes. Growth leads to change, and change means growth. It's true that not all changes lead to growth. But without change, growth will not come. If you want to grow, you must be ready to change. That growth will cost you something. Somebody who decides not to sleep. <laughs> that growth is costing you your sleep. Somebody who decides to be praying one, one hour every day. That, that, that activity is costing you time. You are as close to God as you wish to be. For this, I want to read through the Bible in one month. Of course, you can do that. I want to memorize more of the scriptures. It's a, it's a personal decision. Heaven does not spoon feed anybody. No? Say, move close to me. I will move close to you. You move close to me first. That too will move close to you. But if you move away from me, I will move further away from you. At least, if you move away from the Lord one mile, he will move away 100 miles. That is a price to pay for growth. You pay a price to go up. You pray, pay a price to move higher. You pay a price to run faster. You pay a price to go to a new height. You also pay a price to remain as you are. 
the enemy will be happy if you remain as well. But when the enemy brings warfare against you, and they find that you were not where they want you to be, that your address spiritually had changed, they'll go back home and report. It's not, it's not what you told us. That place is not easy again. I'm praying for somebody here. May your life terrify your enemies in the name of Jesus. I say, may your life terrify your enemies in the name of Jesus. So, so the choice is yours. If you are willing to pay the price, you will see multiple growth. That growth is not a program. It's a process. 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 Mushrooms may grow up overnight. But it takes years to develop and hook mushroom tree. The, the oak tree will be there for generations. Mushroom disappears for 48 hours. Human beings can take them away anytime. Those who are always making excuses. Excuse. Excuse. Come and do this. Excuse. Join the group. Excuse. Be serious. Excuse. Those who excuse themselves today shall be excused on the last day. This personal growth I'm talking about is the great separator between those who succeed or fail. Growth inside fuels growth outside. And it's, it's those personal growth that will show your potentials. It will enhance your life. It increases your capacity to handle more. Heaven is very particular and how he gives his power out to people. Nobody will give a gun to a six-year-old child. It is too much power for a small child. S same thing. Heaven is very meticulous. A lot of people ask for power. I want the power that is fresh. I want the power. But this is a child. This is a child. How can we give this kind of person power? It's a child. Like a sister, member of MFM. She got into a bus. They told them that the bus fare was 30 naira. And she said, 30 naira. He said, No. I'm paying 20. He said, No, but we've told you. They started arguing. She now stood up. Say, Driver. Warn your conductor not to ask me for 30 naira again. If he asks me again, I will now show you that our father in the Lord, Dr. Lukoya, has taught us how to call down fire. I will not hesitate to call fire on this bus and the bus will burn and you will have no bus again the driver had I said conductor leave by low, leave by low, leave by low. don't let her burn down this bus she's a child a baby God will not give her the power to bring down fire it's too much power for a child 
No one will give a gun to a six-year-old child. Nobody could buy a whole aircraft for a two-month-old baby and put the two-month baby inside. Do the papers insurance in the name of the child. You could buy a big house for the child. But the child will say, I want my toy. It's a child. It's a child. This is what I'm trying to say. This is the lamentation of my heart. Anything God has kept in store for you will remain in that store until you grow to the level where you can handle it. Artillery is not for babies. Weapon is not for babies. As long as you remain a child and you refuse to grow, the Bible says you are not different from a slave. And that's why you have to go for this deliverance, that deliverance, because you have not grown, you grow to a level where those elements can't put anything on you anymore. So no matter the plan of God for your life, you remain a child. Subject to the powers that govern the world. And this is why many go for endless deliverance. Some time ago, in heaven, some angels they rebelled against God. They now, although they were angels, they were looking at the daughters of men. And they were lusting after human beings. They were lusting after beautiful daughters of men. The, ang the angels now came down. And they have the power to put on physical flesh. They now began to marry daughters of men. Falling angels. They lusted after the daughters of men. And they came down and began to marry daughters of men. And began to give birth to strange children. Giants, all kinds of people. You see, is these fallen angels that taught men how to make charms, how to make enchantments, how to make incantations, how to cut roots and use them as herbs for medicine? They taught men astrology. They taught men cosmetics, makeups. They taught men how to sacrifice to demons. It is because you have not grown that you don't realize that uh, physical beauty is vain. It's the inner beauty that matters. Physical beauty is just the flesh. And the flesh is not going anywhere, like I told you during 31st break, night, night vigil. vigil. You can paint a corpse. They put the woman on the corpse. She's dead. Put a wig on her head. The wig she was not using in real life. Put on her head. Painted her lips. Dead eye in jewels. And put her in the coffin. No, it is still dust unto dust. Ash unto ash. It's a waste of time. Because you didn't grow spiritually. You didn't know that 
Because your inner growth is more important than that physical attraction you are looking for. You may look beautiful and giant on the outside. But inside, you may be a dwarf. This is what many of our sisters don't understand. The origin of what most of what people are using to decorate themselves today is from the fallen angels. Jezebel is the mother of all makeups. All the origin of decorative jewelry is in idolatry. And many of those things have symbols on them that people don't understand that is occultic symbols. Because, because you have not grown, you don't understand it. You, you don't understand that if you don't remain natural, you may put on materials that are testifying against you and dedicating you to strange powers. People go for deliverance. When they are going, they remove all the wave ones, all this attachment, everything. And they receive breakthroughs. They leave the deliverance ground. They go back to those things. The demons come back. It is because you have not grown spiritually. But you do you realize that your head is the symbol of your destiny? Your air is your glory. Having somebody to sit on your head for three, four hours when you don't know the spiritual quality of the person shows that you, are not, you have not grown. That's a book that was published years ago. Say, slaves who love their chains will remain in their bondage. If you love your chain, remain in your bondage. And you may say, I don't agree with what they are saying. I'm not even begging you to agree. I know what I'm saying is true. I know you, you cannot see what I'm seeing. If you see what I'm saying, you will be more aggressive. And listen, on two occasions in this church, a woman there could not deliver a baby after a year. And the husband brought her to me for prayers. I wanted to pray. And I said, no. I told her to remove the scarf on her head. She took it off. Like this heavy duty attachment that is pointing upward like candle. The, the Lord said, tell her to go and lose it away from her head. She will, she will deliver. And the husband quickly ushered her out. After they have loosed that attachment from her head, she fell into labor out there. But because she has not grown. If she has grown, she will have seen that, oh, my enemies are putting a luggage on this head and it must be removed. Uh, on the second occasion, the Lord said, tell this woman to go and remove all her wigs and attachment from the house and she will conceive. She conceived after years of waiting just by removing those things. Our early Pentecostal fathers, particularly Apostle Joseph Babalola, the men that vomited the fire of revival in Nigeria, all those early Pentecostal fathers without exception they ban juries they ban attachments they ban hearings because because they could see things 
but our modern generation is so blind, deaf, and dumb. They can't see anything. Our generation is so dumb and deaf that people are applying materials from aborted babies from corpses from executed prisoners from human placenta onto their bodies as makeup as decoration your yes symbolizes your glory when somebody's ear has been sacrificed to idols and they repackage it and send it and you put it on your head you put the air of the dead on your head if they bring if they bring those wigs from where they worship dragons then your head has been supplied to the dragons all the tools for artificial beauty they are from the fallen angels and they put people in bondage but because you have no growth you didn't know a time will come when those who are not wise will become wise and like I told them the Lord last time at the youth church I said listen young people <laughs> last last everybody will be wise and that become wise now become wise in hellfire become wise when they are now in bondage rise to your feet now and all eyes closed in case you are here this morning say pastor I need to wake up and grow I need to surrender my life to Jesus find a way quickly to this altar here now before we start praying we continue this message on growth next time but if you forget anything here this morning don't forget you must wake up and grow so if you want to surrender your life to Jesus find a way quickly to this altar now those of you at the altar I congratulate you bow down your heads say what I'm going to say after say Father in the name of Jesus come before you now Lord Jesus come into my life take control of my life in Jesus name Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, thank you for your children here. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Open your eyes. God bless you. See this uh, pastor. Just follow the pastor for a few minutes. So you can join us later. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land. And in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and, and in the sea, hallelujah, the Lord is my portion in the land of the living, the Lord is good forevermore, the Lord is my portion in the land of the living, the Lord is good forevermore. Lay your hands upon your head now. You will shout your name. Don't negotiate with this prayer. Daniel Olukoya! Hear the word of the Lord! Wake up and grow! In the name of Jesus!
Jesus name we pray shout this again loud and clear power sir walking against my spiritual next level die in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray it Jesus name we pray please bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting father we thank you for the tithes and the offering good measure press and falling over let it be the lot of your children lay your hands upon our lives in Jesus name you see the box is close to you there to put in your tithes and your offering and you can also use our numbers on the screen while we listen to the music ministration. Let's rise for it, please. And let your amen roar like thunder. Father, we thank you for your children you have brought for this service. I pray, O oh Lord, that the anointing of ease anointing of favor with men and favor with God anointing for spiritual growth receive it in the name of Jesus I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus the Lord blesses you from Zion make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you you shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory Father, all the prayer requests are answered them by fire. Let every point written on the paper sir, become testimonies. Let the writers become testifiers in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Lord shall keep you going and you're coming out. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Seven miracle receiving. Hallelujah. Let's go.